Hello, everyone, and welcome to the National Security Agency Skill Tree Talk. Uh, this is Gamification Made Easy. So today, uh, first, I want to start off by just going over a little bit about myself. Um, I've been a software engineer at the National Security Agency going on about six years now. And there, I actually serve under the development experience, which we like to call DevX effort. Um, and under there, I am the team lead for the, uh, for, uh, the ecosystem team. And so there, all of our products and services are centered around making the lives of developers easier. We want to make sure that their experience internally at the agency is the same or as close of, a, of, of an experience as they would have externally at home developing. One of uh, the other great uh, opportunities we have there under the ecosystem team is we support the Open Source Software Center. And there we help shepherd the developers and projects through the open source process. So all of the fun legal and policy um, questions that arrive and all of the processes, putting things actually uh, that uh, all the things that it takes to actually get our um, that software um, open source and within Git in our GitHub repos are um, we help shepherd them through that process. So our outline for today, we'll briefly go over what gamification is, then we'll uh, dive into what skill tree is, and we'll provide our architecture of how the service actually works. And then we'll go into the skill tree demo. And then of course, we'll also want to let you know how, uh, how you can also contribute. So gamification. So when you think about gamification, there are two and now three with this conference that can probably come to mind. Uh, Yelp, Stack Exchange, if you've ever answered questions on Stack Exchange, you get points, you get badges. With Yelp, if you leave reviews, you you get points. You There's different tiers and levels of, of experience. And when you have more levels, you have people tend to weigh your comments or your feedback uh, heavier. And even with this conference, uh, if you visit the booths, you'll be able to actually get uh, get uh, points and you go up within the leaderboard and then hopefully receive prizes. So when you think about gamification, that's a good example. So when we when you're using skill tree, we're enabling developers to be able to easily integrate gamification features into their web application to encourage engagement. And there are a lot of great benefits when we see uh, this service integrated with uh, web applications. So benefits of skill tree, uh, when, when users or when developers integrate this service into the applications, we've seen more traffic. Um, costs, the, the big things for lowering costs is geared around training. A lot of, uh, and us personally, a lot of our applications are very feature rich and dense and we can look at user traffic and usability um, metrics and we can see that, hey, there's, uh, these hundred features and users are really only using these 10 or 20. And it's not really saying that these others features on those applications aren't helpful or beneficial. It's just that they haven't made their way to be able to really take in the time to master those. So we see low, lower costs and within training. And so with a lot of uh, these tools, you might have a subject matter expert come and help train uh, users on how to uh, to really get the full benefit of uh, what these applications have to offer. So. Um, when you integrate skill tree, you, you can still have that training, but even when that training is not available, users are still encouraged to really explore these applications and you can use skill tree to really map out and encourage use across the application. And then as a result of that, you just really have more skilled users and with more skilled users, you're, you're getting less questions um, from a project standpoint. So skill tree out of the box, it gives you the skill and ranking visualizations that you'll see soon. Uh, they are beautiful, in my opinion. The team did a really, really great job with that. And even for um, the way developers were integrated into their applications, there's reporters on action. So if a user clicks a button, um, it triggers and sends it up to the skill tree service, and then it's reported into this beautiful dashboard. So out of the box, developers are able to use Vue.js, React, Angular, and just plain JavaScript. And we really know that that's a, a very wide variety. So that's when we say we feel as though it's really easy to integrate with just about any web application. That's one of the main reasons why. So uh, skill tree um, with, uh, this is the dashboard where you can actually go in and even if you're not a developer, you can go in and you can actually map out the achievements, the levels, the skills and badges through this dashboard application. And so even if you're not, 
even if you're not a developer from a project um, from a project manager standpoint, you don't have to go in the terminal or you don't have to write code to really map out and add um, the features and, or the, the badges and the skills and the levels that you would want the end users to be able to go in and achieve. So you can have the developers uh, stand up the instance and we'll see in a demo how easy that is. And as a, a product owner or a project admin, you can go in and map out, you know, where you want the users to be able to interact and, and, and provide incentives for those to be um, used. And so um, from the user standpoint, uh, this is the view that you will easily be able to, to see within your web application. And it's really like a portal that you, they'll click a button and then this will come down within the web application and they can just get a status on where they are within, um, within their ranking for that application. All right, and the architecture. So this is a, a high level view at how uh, skill, the skill tree service is laid out. You have the dashboard um, where the project admins or um, managers can really interact with. It's it's uh, no need to know how to code or develop from the dashboard dashboard stand of view well, point of view. Then of course we have the skill service that really communicates between the storage and the reporters that you see on the right, where we uh, developers um, use to integrate with that service. And so this is really a high level view. And so when we go through the demo, try to keep kind of picture this in your head. You have the dashboard, you have the skill service that communicates with all portions. And to the right, we have our reporters, which is where you'll see on the client end where developers can easily um, install, install the client and have those reporting events sent to the skills service. All right, and now we are going to the demo. All right, so for prerequisites, uh, uh, there are only about, uh, there's only four uh, key ones that you need to get started to run the service. And the dashboard and the skill service is actually in inside of uh, Docker Hub. So with just uh, one simple command, you can you can pull and get the your uh, your skill tree dashboard up and running. So right now we're we've uh, visited Docker Hub and now we're doing our Docker run command. And so now we should be able to view our skill tree dashboard that we saw an image of before. And the development team really made they really kept uh, developers in mind. So when management hears about skill tree and they say, hey, can we integrate this into our application? We, they, uh, developers can really go out and, and, and get this up and going and seeing really what the level of effort is to integrate into the application. So we'll, um, so when you run that, uh, that Docker container, um, this, it, it'll uh, prompt you when you visit the site to just enter in a root account Looking for that strong password. And with that Docker Hub pull and run, we have our dashboard up. And so this is the uh, uh, the view you will have from uh, a root user, and you can see how the, the how the uh, dashboard is laid out, similar to the uh, image you saw in the slides. So we have our dashboard up. So the next thing we want to do is start our authentication endpoint, and the team provides a jar um, it within the repo where you can easily just do a Java jar, and then it'll it'll run that service. And so you get that authentication endpoint. It integrates, it adds in sample data to your um, to the dashboard. And then it also creates a user, uh, a project admin user or a demo user for this, uh, for this use case. And so now we'll run this service and then we'll have um, the authentication endpoint which is needed for the client, the clients that will have the triggers that report back to the service. This is gonna enable that to, to, to work. So, um, through running that, we get this uh, this project admin account, and then we'll see all the sample data that now that's populated within here. So, then movies. You can think of movies that would be uh, your website, and then the different subjects are different features of your website. So we can see the badges we can have here that users can earn. And 
And so now uh, you're not a developer, but you want to create, you kind of want to start uh, creating things to the dashboard. You can easily do start adding um, your project name through the dashboard. So we'll see how easy that is here. It's done, hit save. <laughs> All right, and so you can see now below our sample project. And then the movies above that project was just generated uh, through the service that the skill tree team provides to get developers up and, and going. And so within the dashboard, you can still see uh, your, your personal different level. And certain things are locked until you meet certain thresholds and you can map all that out through the dashboard. And so for each uh, subject, you have uh, manage options here. And so you can really go in deep and see um, and manage each, each skill and you can set the time. So sometimes you can have award points for people visiting the site, but you don't want the, them to keep uh, receiving points for visiting multiple times in the same hour or same day. So you can set all those thresholds. Um, and then you can also see the level from the project admin view. You can see the users as well. And, you can, and then what every management uh, loves and which how you can justify uh, things is, is metrics. So um, the skill tree team has done a great job of integrating the metrics into the application. You can export or download those, um, those different metrics. And so that really paints a view of, okay, what parts of the application are underutilized? And then you can start to create badges to have more incentives on, the, on those portions. And so similar to how we created the project, we're gonna create a badge right now. So like we said, the team made it easy to where you don't have to go and, and put in a request or, or ask a developer to do this. You can create the badges on your own. And so we've really seen it to some of the um, very, very feature rich applications. You can have a, the one subject matter expert kind of come in and map out what's a good progression for those badges as well. And another great feature is you have dependencies. So you can have one, um, one function depend on another in order to receive an achievement. And then you can also have cross project um, skills. So say there's two applications that are totally separate, but they are tightly coupled in some form of way, um, similar to like what analysts might use, you can have skills depend on each other across projects, which is awesome. And then from a product standpoint, you can also have uh, the, you can also have some access management features here to be able to get your admin stuff done. All right, so now that was really from the project admin and dashboard standpoint, but now we wanna look at how developers integrate this with their application. So we're in NPM, you can easily do an NPM install. And so the out of the box, all the out of the box JavaScript offerings we have, uh, the team has, has great examples provided here. So we're gonna look, look at uh, the Vue.js example and so should be highlighting here the configuration, the import and configuration on how to uh, communicate with that, that authentication endpoint that we uh, service that we set up a few steps back. And so how do we insert those, um, those triggers? So we'll um, see here, we're gonna eventually see how to, um, how to, when a user clicks a certain button, that action is triggered back into the skill tree service to show like, hey, they, this person reported, it's gonna report the event and that, that, that user has completed that action. And so we see here a report skills using the JS utility. You can use directives as well, but this example is highlighting the JS utility. So we're gonna run this application. So um, just in, in summary, we've set up the dashboard, we set up the, the skill service and now this portion is showing how developers with those services stood up, how they can integrate it with their application. So we did that NPM install. We followed the examples that the developers offered. And from there, we can easily say, hey, let's just do a quick test. If a user comes in and clicks that button, can we report it saying they, they, they received that skill or that, that they achieved that, that action? So here, this is where you're, you're, tracking, you're tracking what you've done. And then we should be scrolling down and seeing that button that we just highlighted. So you see the directive on the left and then below that on that code was the report skill with the uh, JS util. 
And we can see that was a success there. So clicking that button, those components there, that's sending that back to the service and updating the dashboard with that. All right. And I know that was a lot of um, on time, but you can go to uh, the National Security uh, Security Agency um, repo uh, project in GitHub, and you can uh, contribute today. I would suggest to start going at uh, code.nsa.gov forward slash skills dash docs, and you can see all the great documentation and you can go through uh, basically what uh, what I showed in the demo. You can actually um, follow all the steps to get that done today. So I know we were short on time. Um, so if you have any questions, please um, continue to send them in the Q&A and then we'll make sure to answer them. If Demo had, wasn't able to answer all of them already, um, you can visit us at the at the booth and exhibit hall. We, the NSA has a booth and please visit there and we'll make sure to post all the, the Q&A, the question and answers there as well. Uh, so that's my time. Thank you all. <laughs>